Hey guys, it's Jody. So I thought I would just do like a little bit of a haul video for you. Um, I went to Goodwill the other day and I got a few little interesting things. And this one I thought was one of them was kind of cool. It's called Scented Drippers 5 8 inch bottle decorators. Solid color, solid scent. And these are actually from the 60s. And this was like really popular, kind of a sort of hippie thing where you would take a candle and put it in like an old wine bottle and then burn it and then it would like drip kind of like this all down the bottle. And then when that candle was done, you'd do another one and then it would like um, make the bottle super colorful with drippy wax. And these are cool because it's, they're still all in here. Let's see, let me pull a couple of them out, maybe. So they're just like, you know, taper candles, but they're smaller, so they can fit in like the opening mouth of a, like a wine bottle. It doesn't smell like anything anymore. Maybe it did at one time, or maybe it does when you burn it. I don't know. But those are kind of cool. That was a very, like, psychedelic 60s thing to do, to get candle. I also got this super cool Fun with Hieroglyphs from the Metropolitan Museum of Art. I got it from Goodwill for $1.99. I think it was actually half price. It has 24 rubber stamps, hier hiero bleh, 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 hieroglyph glyph. Oh my gosh, Hieroglyph Guidebook and Ink Pad. So this is kind of cool because when I was doing my after school program, I used to always do um, a unit on Egypt. And like the kids would learn how to write their names in hieroglyphs and we would learn what some of the different ones meant and stuff. So this actually would be a really cool thing to save for working it has a little ink pad that's probably not good anymore but ink pads easy to replace and then this cool book which talks about writing your name in hieroglyphs <laughs> so that's awesome yeah that's a pretty cool set also got this really cool vintage 60s thumbelina doll isn't she cute Needs a little bit of cleaning up, but she's still in pretty good shape. And I just thought she was super cute with her chunky little cheeks. And I got this super cute Asian Cabbage Patch doll from the 90s. She has a really cute little outfit on. And shoes and socks. And little Cabbage Patch doll diaper. And I got an Asian boy Cabbage Patch doll, too. Yeah, it has a little Cabbage Patch truck. And shoes. So those are cute. I'm not sure how I end up with that, but I got a little um, troll doll. I don't remember putting that in my cart. It says Master Chef. It's got the pink hair sticking up out of the hat. And this I thought was super cute. It's a really nice, really heavy um, Snoopy mug with Snoopy by Cherry Pie. Mmm, Cherry Pie. And then just one more thing today. I got a cute Cabbage Patch doll. And she's got a really good matching dress and bloomers and even has her socks on still and she has ribbons in her hair that's really cute now she's a good vintage 80s Coleco doll I'm 
sure that mark will come out of her dress. So there you go. There's my just quick little haul that I wanted to show you. Some fun Cabbage Patch dolls, Thumbelina dolls, Snoopy Cup. All kinds of fun little stuff. Well, thanks for watching. Check me out, eBay, Etsy. Make sure and like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you subscribe and you don't want a notification like every other day or so when I put new videos up, you can change your notifications so you just get like one email once in a while that says all these people have new videos. So you don't have to like get your box spammed with, um, with emails about, you know, new videos from all your subscribers. I'm personally subscribed to like 150 people. So if I got that many emails emails every time somebody sub put up a new video my box would be flooded so you can change that notification and then what does it hurt to subscribe to somebody and of course we e ebayers <laughs> youtubers love new subscribers all right thanks for watching and we'll see you next time